Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, frittles. Come on, let's get busy. See? <gasps> yes, we're going to make some special flags. There's a stick. We'll just take this on. Granny Murray's. Oh! these children? Help me! And help me! <laughs> so, now you put lots of glue and stick it on your flag. Push down so it's really stuck hard. This is our Megan flag! Well, we've got Megan and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore! Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, yes, it's Jack with Rudy. Hello there. <laughs> Rudy! Hi, Hi Granny Murray. There and Jack. Well done. <laughs> Go on, Maggie. <laughs> Woo, it sounds busy in here. <laughs> oh, it is. There's a lot of waving going on. We'll be making flags, Jack. Woo! Now Jack's here, we'll dress Claude up as an old sea captain. <laughs> nice. There we are, that's the way. And we can dock ourselves over by the chairs. Oh, OK. Oh, I am looking forward to taking the children to see the docks. All the boats coming and going. I like to imagine that I'm standing on the deck with a breeze blowing in my face. <laughs> I much prefer to have my feet firmly planted on dry land, Granny Murray. Not like Louie, however. She's been all over the world. She knows everything there is to know about all the different countries. Oh, I'll bet she does. Mm, not like me. I'm a bit of a homebody, I'm afraid. I don't know that much at all, really. <laughs> well, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. <laughs> and speaking of which, I'd better be up in the way to the market. Oh, look at Cat. Captain Claude. There we are. <laughs> Ahoy there, Captain Claude. <laughs> oh, well done, my flowers. I um, best be I've off. I've got a flag for you and it's got a picture of me on it. A picture of you? Yes. <gasps> well, I will wave that all day. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Thanks, Jack. I'll pop that in me bag and you can give me a cuddle. <laughs> right, have a good day. Yeah. A good boy. <laughs> Come on, See Rudy. you later. See you later, Dad. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, darling. I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Rudy and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today I'm walking me shoes through the city views I'm stepping along and I'm swinging me arms and I'm singing my way through the city's charms. I get in there, it's just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always go the way I know, but can you tell me the way I go? Okay, which way? And do I go left now? Or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? And which way is right? Right! OK, that way, to the market. I'm on my way to work today. I'm going this way and that away. Hello, cobbles. Hello, train. Hello, roadworks. Hello, tram. Hello, sweeper. Hello, bag. Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? And which way's a frown? Ah! What, this way? You told me the way to go Thank you, you showed me the way I know So here we are, now what? Ah yeah, I need to get changed for work All dressed and ready to go. Uh. 
Hi, Rudy. Nice to see you hard at work this early in the morning. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. So, you off to school? Yes, I'm off to teach, but I've still got a lot to learn. You know, it's my philosophy that everyone should learn something new every day. Oh, yeah. I learn tons from all the various people I meet here at the market. Like me, for instance. Oh, <laughs> you got it, Mickey John. Hey! Maybe you could teach me some fascinating facts about all the things on my stall. You know, facts about fruit and veg and that. Oh, that's a great idea. And we'll start with the potato. Oh, I'm going to love finding out things about the potato. Thanks, Rudy. Oh. I'll go off and make some notes and come right back. See you later, Mickey John. <laughs> I can't wait to tell that to Jack. <laughs> Me <laughs> oh, your dad would just love it here. I'm getting a bit seasick. Oh, I'm getting seasick too. Oh, wobbly, 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 wobbly. I miss you, Daddy. Hey, Rudy, <laughs> listen to this. Oh, li listen to what? Well, I found this great book, The Secret Life of Potatoes. <sighs> Farmers in the Andes Mountains discovered the potato 7,000 years ago. <laughs> That's Andy. At first, people in this country didn't like the idea of eating potatoes. Why? I don't know. Then everyone started eating potatoes when they realised they had good things in them. Like vitamins, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Plus the fact that they taste really, really good. So let me see if I've got this right. Um, potatoes were discovered by farmers. Uh, they were discovered in the Andes. And um, people in this country didn't like to eat them, really, until, well, until they discovered that they were full of vitamins and stuff. Oh, thanks, Mickey John. Right oh, well, I better get this back to school before the library opens. Cool. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> right, and I better get down to some hard work. And do be do be do. I make it look easy. What I do be do be do. And what I do is sell to you and you and you. All of the veggies for a stew. But it's more than meets the eye. What I do for you as I buy and buy While you still sleep those fruit and veg to eat And the flowers in the early hours So when wake up comes It's there for you The market stalls are there to view the market, the market, what a wonderful place oh, The hub of the people, the smiles on each face oh, The market, the market, come look around oh, The hustle, the bustle, the bubbles of sound The colours all chaotic and spilling about The smells all exotic, yeah, the market cries out Objects to excite you and draw you near The buying and the selling Cheap or dear The market, the market I just love to be there The market is a wonderful place 7,000 metres up the Andes uh, Oh no, 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 not metres um, 7,000 years ago in the Andes oh. um, You got any water, Chris? Oh, hello, Chuck. Um, oh, you know, do you know, I sold the last one just before. Sorry. How are you? You look a bit stressed. Oh, it's just Mickey John. He told me that I should try and learn something new every day. Sounds good to me. Right. Uh, the potato. <laughs> um, did you know that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago um, by some farmers in the, um, in the Andes? Oh, uh, fascinating. Oh, <laughs> That good, eh? Maybe you should think about a way of brightening it up. Just imagine telling it to Jack and make it so that he would enjoy it. Oh, that's a fantastic idea, Chuck. Oh, thanks, I'll try that. I'll see you later then. <laughs> bye bye. Right, gotta pretend I'm telling it to Jack. Oh, <laughs> that'll work. I wonder what you're up to now, Jack. Wow, do you see that ship over there? Well, that's called a cargo.
cargo boat and it's carrying all different things from all over the world. Do you know what? I bet it's got some exotic fruits and vegetables in it, Jack. <laughs> it might even end up on your daddy's stall. Are you having fun, Daddy? I hope Jack's having a good time at the docks today. <laughs> Hi Rudy. Hi Rudy. <laughs> oh, hello Tina. Hang on a minute, love. Let me just serve Tina. Um, how are you doing today, Tina? Oh, I'm fine. In a rush as usual. Um, I'll take a bag of potatoes, please. Oh, a bag of potatoes, you say? <clears throat> Did you know, Tina, that the potato was discovered 7,000 years ago, high up in the Andes, um, by farmers? Um, and originally in Europe, the potato... It I, 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 I'm sorry, Rudy, but... I really don't have time for this. I'll uh, pop back later. Uh, Bye, Louie. But what about your potatoes? Oh, was it something I said? Oh, Rudy, you're going to scare off all your customers if you carry on like that. I know, but, but what did I do wrong? I've, I've been working really hard all day trying to teach my customers interesting facts about fruit and veg, and I do keep on scaring them off. Oh, I'm going to need to do better than this if I want to sell anything today, but, but how? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Jack off at Granny Murray's. The children had been busy making flags because they were going to go to the docks later. They even dressed Claude up like a ship's captain. Jack gave me a lovely flag that he'd made with his picture on it. At seven o'clock, I was getting ready to start work when Mickey John stopped by. He told me he thought it was a good idea for people to learn something new each day. At eight o'clock, Mickey John came back with a book full of fascinating facts all about potatoes. I decided to try potato facts out on my customers. At 10 o'clock, the first customer I tried it on was Chuck. She thought it was a bit dry and that I should imagine I was talking to Jack to make it more lively. At 1 o'clock, I was telling Tina some interesting potato facts, but she said she didn't have time to listen and she left without buying her potatoes. Now remember, we've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. Hmm. We've all got something to teach. And we've all got something to learn. Well, I've got something to teach, and what I've got to learn is how I can make it more fun. <laughs> Come on, Louis, give us a hand. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, come on ladies and gentlemen, get your fruit and veg from all around the world. Learn a little something with everything you buy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I had to rush off. Oh no, don't worry about it, Tina. Hey, listen, what would you like? We have got some lovely juicy oranges from Spain. We've got tatties from Scotland. We've got apples from England. Lovely juicy grapes all the way from France. Lemons and limes from Greece. And bananas from the West Indies. This is really fascinating. I'll take some tatties from Scotland, a bunch of those West Indian bananas, I'll have a bag of Spanish oranges, and I'll have some of those lovely looking French grapes. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Rudy. You certainly taught me something new today. Oh, no, no, no. You're the one that's taught me something, Tina. <laughs> Never bore my customers. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was really interesting. Oh, thanks, Bye. Tina. See you later. Bye. Oh, that was fun. Wonder if Jack's been having fun with Granny Murray. <laughs> Here we are, my darling. That's us. Do you think these bananas came in one of those boats that we were looking at today? Maybe. Maybe, my darling. <laughs> That's you. Well Thank done. You. Do you know, I know somebody who's not going to be coming across the sea, but he's going to be coming across town to pick you up. Who do you think? Daddy. Yay! Daddy's coming. I want to be with you, Daddy. <laughs> Rudy! Come Hi, away, Rudy! 
someone to see you, Jack. Hello, Kitty. Hey, give a cuddle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've had a great time with Granny Murray. Yep, we certainly did. Go on, say thanks to Granny Murray. Thank you, Granny Murray. Oh, it's a pleasure, my angel. <laughs> oh, and thanks loads from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you told me. We've all got something to teach and we've all got something to learn. And it saved the day. <laughs> thanks, Rudy. Right, come on, you two. You'd better be off. <laughs> come on, mate. There you go. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. <laughs> me too. Bye. Come on, Jack. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wigging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. Sitting down! <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as the captain of a ship because we were going down to the river to look at the ships at the docks. The children and I had great fun making our own flags and Jack gave his to Rudy to take to the market. Later on, when Rudy was busy working, I took the children to look at all the different ships in the transport museum. Then we saw even more ships when we went to the dockside. We wondered about all the different countries they had come from and what cargo they might be carrying. Jack and I thought that some of them might have been carrying fruit and veg for the market. When Jack and I were enjoying a banana, we wondered if it might have come across the sea on one of the boats we saw today. And Rudy remembered that we all have things to learn and we all have things to teach. Maybe this one came over on one of those boats too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Bye. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. Ready? Cheese! <laughs> but don't just sit there, pancakes. Come on, let's get busy. We're going to take some pictures. Press the button. Good boy. Oh, this is my best side. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smile. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Kai. Yes, with Bobby. Hello, dear. <laughs> Bobby, hello. <laughs> and Kai, my pleasure. Come on, way through. Thank you so much, treasures. Now, Kai, say we'll do something new. Why don't you dress Claude up as a glamorous model and we glamour pusses can take the weight off our tootsies. Oh, great idea. <laughs> hey, what's with the photos? Well, I'm taking pictures so we can play a nice spy game later. Oh, Kai loves playing I spy. Oh, he's very good at it. He's got a talent for spotting things. A talent? Really? Ooh, who knows? Maybe he'll grow up to be an aeroplane pilot. They have to be good at spotting things, don't they? Well, doctors too, and scientists. They get trained to spot things, don't they? Oh, imagine my Kai, a famous scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Why stop there? He could become an astronaut. <laughs> they spot things from space, don't they? <gasps> imagine my Kai in space. <laughs> well, it's a big step from the nursery to the moon. Best not get too carried away too soon. Remember, Get the small things right, and the big things will take care of themselves. Mm. You're right, Granny Murray, as ever. Oh, look at Claude. What have you done to him? <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks hunky-dory. A real catwalk star. <laughs> I think he looks like a dog's dinner. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thanks, Kai. Is this a picture of Claude? No, it's Kai, silly. Oh! <laughs> I printed it out earlier. These digital cameras are wonderful. Oh, thanks, Kai. That's great. 
Right, honey, I'll see you in the morning, OK? Come on, Nee. <laughs> now remember, get the small things right and the big things will take care of themselves. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Bobby? Make sure she goes the right way to work. Oh, I'm a bit late today. How can I get to work quickly? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on a bus. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the bus lanes. Rolling, rolling, rolling down the road. Whining, 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 drive the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Rolling, rolling, rolling through the streets. Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. But before I do anything, I need to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, what's all this? It's from the inspector. Um, Bobby, please be sure to complete the forms by the end of your shift so that I know how many buses you have cleaned today. Um, the green forms are to mark the materials used and for what jobs. The blue forms are there to mark down the time it took you to finish each bus. And the pink forms are for the quality of the finish. And what am I supposed to do with these yellow ones? Oh, P.S. The yellow forms are for stating which forms were filled in and when. Great. How am I supposed to fill in all of these forms and clean all the buses too? I know what you'd make of this lot, Kai. Paper planes. I love to skip in rivers evening, go rivers evening, go by the sea. I love to skip in rivers evening, go rivers evening, go that's for me. Right, can you find this teddy? Where can he be? He's hiding. Oh, you're good at this game. Right, a big tick for you. Well done, Kai. Now, can you find, oh, some shells? Where are they? Yeah. Yay, good boy. Well done. Now, this is a tricky one. What could this be? Have a good look round Granny Muddy's room. Here. Oh, yes. Well done. Three ticks. You are so good at spotting things. Oh, your mummy would be so proud of you. What are you doing now, mummy? Hello, Bobby. Can you spare five minutes? Oh, Dr Juno, yeah. Anything to escape starting on those forms. What can I do for you? Well, I'm canvassing local support for the new psychopath along the River Fingal. Oh, yeah. I'm all for that. Oh, great. Well, if you just fill in this form for oh, me. Oh, no, 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 no. Not another form. I couldn't. Well, it won't take long. Well, I suppose I just need your signature, really. I only wish those forms were that easy. Where do you want me to sign again? At the bottom. Oh, brilliant. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dots on my petition already. Oh, I wish I had some sticky dots to stick on my forms. That's a lot of forms. And a lot of work, too. Also, the inspector can know how many buses I've cleaned during my shift. Well, instead of filling in all those forms, why don't you suggest that you stick a dot on every bus that you've cleaned and then you can easily work out which bus has been cleaned and which bus hasn't? Oh, come on, I'll show you. Look, it's easy. You just plonk a sticky dot here, and you know this one's clean. Oh, thanks, Dr Juno. I'll do that once I finish cleaning this bus. <laughs> oh, well, here you go. And good luck. <laughs> thanks. Right, well, it's time for me to get on with some hard work and stick in some of these sticky dots on some buses. She cleans and mops the buses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in. Gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up all shining, they'll be leaving for the 
day ahead Ready to dazzle the day away Swing into the city looking pretty and radiant The hot cabs gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This boss is stopping from picking up and putting down This boss is shining, it's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight at its sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day Guess who? Um, Nurse Hendry? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm working the night shift at the hospital tonight with Dr Juno. She said you were pretty busy, so I thought I'd save your trip and bring you one of these. Oh, hot soup! <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. Um, come on through and we'll take our meal break together. Oh, great! Uh, oops, there doesn't seem to be anywhere to put the soups. Oh. That's the inspector's fault. He's mad keen on me filling out every one of those forms before the end of my shift. I really don't know where to start. Not to worry. I'm a dab hand at filling out forms. Most of my day is spent doing just that in the hospital. Forms to say which patients are requiring which medication. Forms to say who wants what for breakfast, lunch and supper. Forms, 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 forms every day. But they have to be done because they're all important to somebody. Hmm. Well, these don't seem that important to me. <laughs> Let's see. Right. The green forms say blah 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 blah. Mark down how many buses you've cleaned. Okay. The blue forms say blah 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 blah. Mark down how many buses you've cleaned. Okay. The pink forms they say blah 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 blah. Mark down how many buses you've cleaned. And the yellow forms oh, say blah. That one I understand. Basically they're saying pretty much the same thing, which is how many buses have I cleaned during my shift? <laughs> right. <laughs> Talking of shifts, I better get back to the hospital. Oh, okay. Well, bye, Nurse Hendry. Take care, Bobby. And thanks for the soup. Oh. I wonder if you're tucked up in bed yet, Kai. Who can find Rudy? He. Oh, good boy. What about? Oh, I know a hard one. Dr. Juno, well done. What about Granny Murray? Clever boy. And what about, oh, what about this lady? Who's this? Who's that? Mummy. Yes, that's Mummy. Do you know, you're really good at spotting things, Kai. Maybe you'll be an astronaut right enough. <laughs> I missed you, Mummy. Hello, is that Granny Murray? Oh, sorry, Inspector. I thought you might have been... The forms? Yes, yes, I saw them. Um, yellow, pink, blue and green. Yes, they're all here. Yes, of course, I will make sure that they're all filled in before the end of my shift. OK, good night. Oh, what was it Nurse Hendry said again? Oh, yes, that all these forms are asking me the same question, which is, how many buses have I cleaned during my shift? But I've been so busy cleaning buses and worrying about filling these forms in that I can't remember how many buses I've cleaned between now and back then. Where did the time go? At five o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's house, where the children were taking photos to use in a game of I Spy with Granny Murray later. At six o'clock, I arrived at work and found a huge pile of coloured forms on my desk. I was supposed to fill them all in so that the inspector would know how many buses I'd cleaned that day. Dr Juno arrived soon after with a form of her own for me to fill in. She was a great help and came up with a brilliant idea to help me remember which buses I'd cleaned using small coloured stickers. At 8 o'clock, Nurse Hendry popped across and helped me to sort the forms into separate piles. He pointed out that they were all basically asking the same question. How many buses have I cleaned? At 10 o'clock, the inspector called to check on how I was getting along with the forms. I said that I'd finish them all before going home, but how will I find the time to do that now? Now remember, 
get the small things right and the big things will take care of themselves. Get the small things right and the big things will take care of themselves. Of course! I've got the small things right. I've put a small sticky dot on each big bus that I've cleaned. So now all I've got to do is to count up the dots. Oh, but if I'm going to do that and fill out all these forms before the end of my shift, we'd better get counting. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Twenty-five buses cleaned. Twenty-five. Right. Finished! Hello, 25. I mean, Bobby here. Oh, hello, Inspector. Uh, yes, I did manage to clean all the buses and fill out all the forms. How many did I clean? 25. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. I do deserve a tea break. <laughs> Good night. I hope you're tucked up in bed by now, Kai. I spy with my little eye. Two little eyes fast asleep. I'm thinking of you, Mummy. <laughs> Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we should sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you. Bye-bye, my treasure. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Get the small things right, and the big things will take care of themselves. God, save the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Kai, let's go. Right. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, like hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a glamorous model because I wanted him to look his very best in case the children took pictures of him with their cameras. I used some of the photos the children had taken to make up an I Spy game. Kai was excellent at that. He wasn't bad at Snap either. Better than me anyway. He's great at spotting things. Bobby was busy spotting things too. Little coloured spots, in fact, to help her remember how many buses she had cleaned. She got the small things right, which meant that everything worked out OK in the end. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee cherry buds. Come on, let's get busy. A football! Brilliant! Wow! Right through Megan's legs. We want to see. Woo! Go! <laughs> One goal for Stephen, one goal for Megan, but nobody else! Woo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Raymond with Lisa. Hello there. Raymond. Hiya, Granny Murray. Oh. Lisa's here, you too. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> so you're getting in the mood for the big football match today? Oh yes, Raymond, we're really excited. River Sea United against Drumtown City. And who do we want to win? River Sea! River Sea! River Sea! <laughs> oh, listen, I'm supposed to be trying to be quiet today. Mr Watson next door is a composer and he's writing a very important piece of music and he's asked me to try and keep the noise down. Oh. Well, we'll do something new anyway. Why don't you dress Claude up as a River Sea United football supporter? <laughs> um, come on, quietly now, Raymond. River Sea, River Sea. <laughs> you know, I didn't know you were a football fan, Granny Murray. Oh yes, I love football. Angus and I used to go and see all the River Sea games. Oh. We would stand on the terraces with all the other fans, waving our scarves and shouting, River Sea, we love you! Shh. Remember Mr Watson? Sorry, me and my big mouth. <laughs> you know, he's writing a symphony for an orchestra for over a hundred musical instruments. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry then. <laughs> His orchestra would make a lot more noise than you're singing. Ah, yes, but you know what I always say? When you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. You're right. So, when the match is on, just keep the noise down. OK, Claude? Oh, look, Raymond, the River Sea United hat, scarf and rosette. You're our number one supporter, Claude. Let's hope he brings us some luck this afternoon. Here you are, Daddy. Oh, thanks, Lisa. My very own River Sea United rosette. <laughs> I'll wear that when the game comes on. Thank you. <laughs> right, I better get off to work. Come on, you. <laughs> now remember, when you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm a bit late for work today. Can you tell me a quick way to get there? Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work I take a, take a ticket on the metro I'll be, 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 be there quite quick Hurry, hurry, hurry on the train lines Clatter, clatter, clatter at the point Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down Clatter, clatter, clatter through the streets Now squeaking, squeaking to our stop I'm in, 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 in a hurry I really, really need to get to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, so we're here. But before I can get down to some work, I have to change. So, busy, busy, busy. All dressed and ready to go. Good luck, River Sea United. Oh, Bobby. Hey, Raymond. <laughs> Big day today. Yeah. Oh, hello, Kai. I never saw you there. So, what can I get you? Um, two orange juices, please. Okay. <laughs> so, are you off to the big match? We most certainly are. I see you're a River Sea United fan, Kai. Yeah. <laughs> but what is your mum wearing? Um, excuse me? What do you mean, what am I wearing? Those are Drumtown City colours. Yeah, that's because I'm a Drumtown City fan. My dad was from Drumtown. I've supported him all my life, haven't I, Kai? Yeah. Come on, Drumtown! Come on, Drumtown! River C! River C! River C! What team's going to win today, Kai? River C! Yay! <laughs> no chance, Kai and Raymond. You're supporting the wrong team, I'm afraid. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> my mum's coming to watch the match with us, isn't she, Kai? Yeah. She's getting on at Molly Moore. I hope she's going to be able to find us. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for her. Oh, thanks, Raymond. OK, come on, Kai. Oh, it's a shame I can't go to the match, but I'll be supporting River Sea United from the Buffy car. Thanks again for the rosette, Lisa. I love to skip in her. Oh, and it's Granny Murray, and she shoots! Woo! She scores! 
and it's 1-0 to River Sea Fingal. Yay! Oh, Lisa, your dad will be busy this morning, eh? With all the football fans going on the train to Drumtown for the match. <laughs> Are you having fun, Daddy? Thank you. Thanks. Enjoy the game. Thanks very much. <laughs> so, we'll be at Molly Moore any minute. Oh, hello, Mum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> and I better go on with some hard work. I love my train. I love to do chocolate, lemonade, or tea. I'm just very happy serving you. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, making special moments on my way. I'll tell a joke and toast some cheese on toast. Oh, I walk, walk, walk all day, bringing smiles and happiness my way. Being nice is what I love the most. Take your step, I'm looking fine. So happy being me, meeting all the people on the train. Can I help and clear your things? If there is a problem, I'll explain. Oh, I talk, talk, talk all day, wheeling trolleys, weaving to this way. I'll do a trick and make the journey quick. Oh, I walk, walk, walk each way, loving all the things I do each day. Bringing smiles and happiness my way. I love my train. I love my train. Drumtown already. Well, the time has flown past this morning. We're approaching Drumtown, everyone. Next stop, Drumtown. <laughs> bye, Raymond. Oh, bye, Bobby. Bye, Raymond. Bye. And may the best team win. And that means River Sea United. Oh. oh, good afternoon, Raymond. Mickey John, hello. Uh, can I get you something? A very strong cup of tea. Coming up. <sighs> so, aren't you at school today? No, I had a big teachers' meeting in Drumtown this morning. I could have done without it, to be honest. I got a lot of marking to do for tomorrow. Oh, well, why don't you find a wee quiet corner and then you can get on with your marking while the train whisks you back to Riversea Fingal. Oh, thanks, Raymond. That's just what I need a bit of peace and quiet. Hiya, Mickey John. Hello. Oh, Raymond, do you mind if I listen to the match on the train? Mind? I'd love that. That way I can listen as well. It's going to start any minute now. I'm so excited. Come on, River Sea. Oh, actually, maybe we shouldn't listen to the radio. There are some customers trying to work. Well, that's no problem. I just put my earphones on. See, I can listen to the match without disturbing anyone. I'll let you know when someone scores, Raymond. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I'd love to listen to the match. Oh, well, Lisa, I wonder if you're having a noisy day or a quiet day today. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Right, my darling, we mustn't disturb any of the people working in the library. We have to be quiet as mice. Shh, come on, let's sit down. That's the way. Right, let's have a wee flick through this book here. Oh, it's all about trains. Oh, look, Lisa, do you see that one? That's just like your daddy's train. Look, Sean. Where are you, Daddy? Hello, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm fine, thanks, mate. Has the match started yet? Oh, kick-off is any minute now. Oh, brilliant. I really wish I was there, Raymond. I tried to get a ticket, but apparently they sold out ages ago. Oh, well, Dr Juno is over there, listening to the match on a radio. Come on, she'll keep you up to date oh, with what's happening. Fantastic. I'll join her. <laughs> we love you, River sea. We oh. do. Oh, River sea, we love you. <laughs> Just on your left there, Rudy. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Oh, hey, Doc. Has it started yet? Oh, any second now. Oh, oh yes, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, Riverside. <laughs> Come on, Riverside. Oh, 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 o
He really needs some peace and quiet. But with the match on now, there's not much chance of that. River are pushing through. They're through. Oh, come on. Come on, River It's just wide. Oh. It's the corner. Oh, yeah. oh. Would you mind keeping the noise down, please? Come on, River Sea United. Easy. 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 Oh, dear. I've been working hard all day trying to keep everyone happy, but now it looks like it's too late for Mickey John. Oh, where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. We were all very excited about the River Sea and Drumtown match. But we had to be quiet so we didn't disturb Mr Watson next door. He's writing music for an orchestra. At 9 o'clock, I got to work. Bobby and Kai arrived on their way to the match. Kai supports River Sea, but Bobby's a Drumtown supporter. At 2 o'clock, we arrived at Drumtown and everyone got off for the match. Mickey John arrived. He had a lot of work to do. When Dr Juno got on with her radio, Mickey John didn't look too pleased. Rudy joined her to listen to the match and they got quite noisy. So then Mickey John didn't look pleased at all. And now it's 3 o'clock and the match has begun. Everyone's excited and happy. All except Mickey John. Now remember, when you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. When you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. I know what to do. I'll make a quiet area for the people who need to work and a noisy area for the people who want to enjoy the game. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest way of friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do and work it through I've got to do it He's going to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to sort it I've got to do the job on time like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Right, all those who want to enjoy the match Follow me for the football special Oh wow, that sounds like all kind of place guys Come on Raymo, lead the way River Sea United River Sea River Oh wow, this is brilliant, Raymond. And you can have your radio on in this carriage and no one will mind. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Come on, River <laughs> ah. Raymond, thank you. You're <laughs> a complete star. So, cup of tea for the teacher? Don't mind if I do. Oh, problem solved. Now all of my passengers will be happy for the whole journey. It'll soon be time to go and pick up Lisa. <laughs> oh my, Mr Watson must be finished his work, eh? <laughs> Looks like we can make as much noise as we want, Lisa. Come on! <laughs> Let's get noisy! <laughs> We better get you ready. Your dad will be here any minute. I wish I was with you, Daddy. Raven! Hi, Granny Murray. Come on, Lisa, it's your dad. Yeah, <laughs> Daddy. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Have you had a great day with Granny Murray? Oh, yes. we certainly did, didn't we, darling? Thank you. Oh, oh. my wee angel! <laughs> And a big thank you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. When you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. It saved the day. Oh, <laughs> bless you. <laughs> Come on now, let's get you two home. <laughs> oh, looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special?
special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a Riversea United football fan because today our team were playing Drumtown City, the biggest match of the year. Raymond came to drop Lisa off. We were all very excited about the football, but I remembered about Mr Watson, who was busy next door working on his music, so we had to be very quiet. Later, we went to the park, and there we could make as much noise as we liked. We had a great time kicking through all the leaves. After lunch, we went to the library, another quiet place. When Mr Watson finished his work next door, we danced around noisily to his music. Raymond had his hands full too, trying to look after passengers who wanted to be noisy and passengers who didn't. As I always say, when you make a noise, just think of those who want to be quiet. And Raymond found a way to keep everyone happy. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.